Oh, the, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> it's the one in the... Woo, what time is it? First time I'm saying words out loud in 12 hours. Just wear your tinfoil hat to keep you safe. Yeah, subway stairs, no joke. But waiting for the elevators. And plus, the elevators are often broken anyway. Woo! Yeah, I'm in Brooklyn right now. I'm staying, I mean, at this moment, we're in Manhattan. But I'm staying in Brooklyn this, this week. A few more weeks. So I have to commute into the city. What's up, Luxor? Thank you. Hey, Antenna 10. Thank you for the roast. Luciano Reyes. So I have to uh, commute into Manhattan. We're looking on 42nd Street. 42nd Street. That little song is from an old Broadway play called 42nd Street. I never saw it, but there was a commercial for it. I remember all the commercials from when I was a kid, you know what I mean? TV. Jay, what's up? You guys, if you're, uh, if you're into it, if you want to tap the screen, tap out those likes, see how many likes we can get on there, and share it with your friends. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be live here for a while. We ain't going nowhere, we're just gonna walk around. Uh, we're gonna walk around Manhattan for some hours. We're gonna be doing some hours today. We're in a subway of today, we gotta get some subscriptions, please. Linda, good morning. Charles H, what's up? Good morning, Valerie Bradley. Look at that. Imagine driving this truck in the middle of New York City, trying to go from what? Jersey, maybe? Rhea, good morning. And uh, that's a cool looking car. And then you're trying to drive that into uh, Brooklyn, I guess. Maybe Queens. Woo! That's a job right there. That's a real job. That's a real job that I don't want. Topless bus. What's up, people? What's up? No, nothing. Okay. Man, everybody is out. This beautiful light post, these lamp posts outside the Cat 5591 outside the Bryant Park Library. I try and get away from everybody on that thing, but they think I'm a little bit off my rocker, I guess. Hey, big show. Reno from Philadelphia. Or Philadelphia from Reno. I'm gonna say Reno from Philadelphia. Chips arriving from UK. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Arriving to New York from UK? Oh, that's awesome. Gonna be on vacation. Yeah, it's very beautiful. The weather's really, really nice. It warmed up even further today. This little bird. What's up, little bird? Meow. Hey, bird. Oh, I kind of want to reach out and pet it, but I know that's not going to work, right? Come here. No, right there. He's looking at me. He's thinking about it. No. Hello. All right, all right. I'll leave him alone. Yo, what's up? What's up? Good morning, everybody. I know it's not going to be morning for another. It's only going to be morning for another 10 minutes, but bird. Moa, quality parts. Oh, man. <laughs> I live alone. So sometimes when I go home at night, and I don't speak for like 12 hours, because why would I speak out loud to myself in the, in the apartment, right? So I'll get up in the morning and just be like, oh, that's my voice. That's the sound of my voice talking out loud. User, thank you for the follow. Anonymous, what's up? You know what I mean, NYC girl? Like you get up, this is Bryant, we're in Bryant Park right now. These guys are doing doing some work. They're changing Bryant Park into winter time. Into winter time park. Oh, they're gonna put in the ice. They're gonna put in this whole, all this wood here. Hey, we're in New York City. User Dre, I love New York too. I've been living here for years. And uh, we're getting ready to leave traveling in November. But right now we're still walking around, taking a, taking a look at all the stuff that I always see every day. Ella Jam. Bank of China building right there. I love this building though, this is really cool. It's got that like, that wedge taken out of it. Like, here, like this. You can put a carrot in there. 
And this is going to be ice pretty soon because they'll be putting an ice skating rink in here. Hey, Lauren, where are we traveling now? I, I just don't even know, man. We're going to, I'm in New York. I'm back in New York. We should be here October 31st. We're going to, uh, James, what's up? We're going somewhere on November 1st, but I have not decided where. Oh, shoot. I can't go this way. I can't go through here. How are you doing, Lauren? Philippines. Do you know, yeah, New York is my home base. I've been staying in New York for s how many years? Seven years? And they were, we were just traveling through Europe, and now we're going to, we're back in the States trying to figure out where we're going to go next. We're going to go out and travel and see all the different cities. I want to go somewhere warm. Right now, going to the southeast is not really, that doesn't make any sense. So we're going to stay out of, we're probably going to stay out of Puerto Rico and Miami. Much as I love to go to those places, I don't think we're going to go there. This is not a regular work site. We are at the Bryant Park Hotel. Uh, Bryant, oh, here's the Bryant Park Hotel, by the way. Let me walk over there. We're in Bryant Park, New York City. That's the Bryant Park, uh, New York Library back there. Where is it? Hey, James, thank you for the follow. New York Public Library. This is the back side of it. The front side of it has all those big lions in the front. Yo, Hawaii would be amazing. And this is where they're going to... Somebody said, where's the ice rink going to be? It's going to be right there. Normally, it's grass. It's grass during the, the warm seasons. Look at this stuff. Imagine looking up and all you see is glass and steel. It's crazy, huh? I often think about, like, kids that grew up here. Like, man, how do you grow up with all this stuff around you? I moved a lot when I was a kid. Like, we never stayed. My family didn't stay in one place too much. Tokyo. Oh, yo, that would be crazy. Hawaii would be rad, though, huh? I lived in all kind of environments when I was a kid. Sometimes in the burbs in California. Sometimes in the country. Sometimes in the towns. But, uh... I can't say I didn't really live in this kind of environment when I was a kid and I see like young people that are in high school or middle school it's like taking the subway to work by themselves or not work but school and it's just amazing to me that a 13 year old kid or a 12 year old kid would take the subway by themselves and play with all this concrete everywhere but what else are they gonna do right I'm sure they grow to love it RJ City RP Minecraft. Well, airplane right there. A big airplane. This is the Bryant Park Hotel. In case you were wondering. A lot of people out. Not, not a ton, a ton of people, but it's Wednesday. Maybe it's a slower day. There's a Bryant Park right there. Imagine growing up. Anybody grow up in a city where you're just surrounded by concrete like this? Where you have to go to like play in Central Park or in Bryant Park. Hey, what's up, Simone? Today's, wait, today's when? Thursday? Oh. <laughs> I knew that. Of course, of course I knew that. Of course I knew that. You know? Simone and Lauren. I didn't know. I thought it was Wednesday. Well, cool. The Thursday's going to be great. I love Thursday. Another unmarked black SUV. Steven, what's up? Another unmarked black SUV. It's drivers. Drivers, and limo drivers, and police. All in those government-looking SUVs. PPP there. Replacing the roof here. Ah. Oh, in uh, where you're at in uh, in Oregon. So the address is 40 West 40th. The American Standard Building. It's also called the Bryant Park Hotel. Also, I guess it was originally called the American Standard Building. Raymond Hood's use of black brick trimmed with golden colored stone in the design of this building, an early instance of vivid coloration on the surface of a skyscraper. Construction was completed in 1924 for the American Radiator Company. 
organized in 1892. There you go. There you go. There you have it. In case you were wondering. Let's see what's on the inside. Let's see how long we can go before they kick me out. This restaurant is called Koi, I guess. Seafood restaurant. Uh, this hey, hot butter toast, what's up? Thank you. See, this is not what I would have thought of. I would find in here. You know what I mean? I thought this, I thought this would be a lot different. This is uh, apparently a restaurant down here. A Ceylon restaurant. Hey, Germany. Hi, Germany. This definitely is not what I would have thought. Oh, oh, okay. So we're in the Bryant Park Hotel right now. What's back here? Let's see. Oh, yo, this is nice. Yo. Oh, it's a manager's meeting inside a restaurant. Beautiful. That really live here? I got a member, Omar, Omar's Mediterranean Grill. I'll try and, I'll post something on TikTok, so, to get his name up there. And then I'll go back and show him. Maybe I can do that, show him tomorrow, next day. I did Omar a solid, right? I was like, look, homie, you got 300 people watching you on TikTok. You're good. Yeah, he wants that visibility. Used to work on 40th and Lex. Every day, chick chat. Oh, so you're, we're right uh, right near your old, uh, what, 40th and Lex. Oh, and this is wild, too. I love that neighborhood. Hold still. We're going to walk over there. That neighborhood's great. And now they have, it's like a semi, it's like a residential commercial neighborhood. And they have Matto Espresso is over there. There's a place called Matto. Yo, that's wild. M-A-T-T-O. I guess he probably would just pronounce it Matto, but but Matto is spelled with an O, right? M-A-T-T-O. Anyway, it's on 40th and between Lex and 3rd. Star Paris and Scott McKinney. So we're walking around Midtown <laughs> watching watching business people buy their lunch and we'll see what restaurants they go to. Let's see what this one. This one is called Fresh Kitchen, but it looks like it's not a, a chain. Like I think there's Fresh Connect, Fresh Direct, Healthy Kit. You know, there's those kind of chains that you see around the country. Everyday Chick Chat, thanks for the follow. NYK for the follow. The beautiful Roosevelt Hotel over on 45th. Yeah, we can go over there. Oh, yo, I've been in here. I know this place. I came in here one day to get a cup of coffee because I was working at Grand Central Station. I was running out of time. Dude, it's such a ripoff. <laughs> I forgot all about this place. And uh, it was so expensive. Smoothie bar, 850. That doesn't sound really bad. What was it that was, I remember it was so expensive. Coffee, 375. Oh, that's not that bad. I just, maybe I was just, at that time I didn't have any money, but I just remember coming in here and just being, feeling robbed. $12 for sushi. That's not bad, that's not bad at all. But my memory of the place was that it was super expensive. Well, I'm glad I'm back, kind of straightened me out a little bit. This is a wheat croissant? A wheat croissant, why not? A plain croissant? And a wheat croissant? I don't get it. I don't know what the difference would be. The muffins look awesome. Chocolate muffin. Do I have to pay tax on top? Yes. This tax on top of those prices for sure. Strawberry cake cup, $5.75 for desserts. Well, that's not bad. Oh, man. oh, look at that. What is that? That's a little frozen... It's in a glass though, so you you would have to return or you would eat it here and leave the glass behind you, but there's no, there isn't chairs. Oh, there's a few chairs in the front window. Yeah, where's the cookies? No cookies? I'm, I love these things. These things are, I want to get sponsored by Celsius one day. Have them send cases of uh, Celsius's to my house. Hey, Cordiergo, what's up? Got a nice uh, prime rib. Steak sandwich, prosciutto sandwich. Ah, I don't know. It looks all right. Looks all right. How you doing, man? Very good. Looks all right. 
and there's like five chairs in the whole place. If I sit here in this chair without buying anything, I'm gonna last about two minutes before they kick me out. Yeah, it actually looks pretty decent. Celsius is are good. I like them. I have one. Uh, I have one in my backpack. You need one on vacation and pick some. Yeah, those are so good. I don't know what's in them, but they're uh, the Celsius. Yeah, I am too. And I think I'm not supposed to have them because they're they're a little bit like a, a Red Bull or a Rockstar. You know those kind of drinks. And I'm, my doctor tells me I'm not supposed to drink those things, but... Loose K. Push. Okay. But I don't care, man. I'm living on the edge. We're on 39th. East 39th. Oh, yeah, this is crazy. These neighborhoods over here are dope. If you go over to Park Street or Park Avenue, we get pretty nice views of Park Avenue like tunnel that goes down underneath the Leona Helmsley building the old school blacksmith I love these neighborhoods I'm sure it's extremely expensive to live here I can't look at the William that's probably a hotel isn't it the William Hotel hey Leslie Leslie Selwyn you have a great day too Jacob Watts from the Bahamas Van Gogh. Where's Al Capone's old hood in New York City? This is the Mexican consulate right here at 30th, 39th, uh, 39th Street. Cool. Mexican consulate in New York. I don't know where all these <laughs> homies kicking it on the stoop. Look, look at that. That's crazy, man. These are really nice, really nice houses. Al Capone's. I thought Al Capone used to live in Chicago. Hey, Charlie Cruz. Hey, Carol. Right now, I do live in New York City, and I have lived in New York City for the last seven seven years. But before then, I think it was a, is that a uh, look at that license plate? Is that a uh, uh, consulate consulate license plate? So that person would be a, what do they call him? An ambassador or something like that? Or just that's a, maybe just a driver that works at the consulate. But am I drive? Am I am I traveling right now or not? I'm sort of always am traveling. I travel around the country. I've been doing it all my life. So before this, I was in Salt Lake City before I moved to New York. And oh, look at this Greek cart! How dope is that? Guy's getting ready to put his his cart on his truck and drive away, take it back to Queens, and rest it overnight. Yeah, Utah is great. It's great. It's really, really crazy. This is nuts. Can you imagine trying to hook up your cart to the back of your like my, your minivan? He's going to yeah. hook this on to his minivan and get on the freeway with it, drive it back home to Queens, which he probably does five days a week. Man, that's rough. Let's see if there's an address here. This is Ahmad's Express Breakfast Cart. There's no address. That's a rough business to have, you know what I mean? Yikes, I know, can you imagine? And then if the car breaks down, you know, on the freeway, <laughs> and you're stuck there in this safari van, this, you know, 1999 safari minivan, carrying your entire business behind you, like a turtle. Woof, man. But it's one of those places that sells coffee for $2, which is great. Bacon, egg, and cheese is probably six dollars these days. It used to be a lot cheaper. Mm-hmm. Back to Astoria. Food trucks are booming in Texas. Ah, oh, Rafiki, that's good. That's good to know. I know there was. A, I used to live in Austin, Texas, for a while, and there was a whole section on South Congress, uh, like a like an area, like a a parking lot full of food trucks. And then right here, you can see the MetLife building. Here, I'll get out in the middle of the street. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'll hurry and get out in the middle of the street. <laughs> I'll hurry up and get out in the middle of the street. Yo, Simone, thank you so much for the heart me. 
Yeah, then you just turn the corner, and there's the guy with the food cart going back to Astoria, and then this sort of this really majestic view, this surprising New York City view. It's everywhere you go in the city, it's, it's beautiful. MetLife used to be the Pan Am building, if anybody remembers, we used to say Pan Am on top. Yeah, Charlie Cruz right next to uh, Grand Central. Simone, thank you for the corn. Simone, thank you for the rose and the ice cream. Wow, and the lightning bolt. The name of this street is Park Avenue. World famous Park Avenue in New York City. How do people work there? Honestly, I worked here. I worked in that building two weeks ago on a lower floor here, catering a, somebody's meeting. We, you know, me and a few cooks showed up and we had a hundred sandwiches that we get that we made for a bunch of uh, executives. Catering is a good, yo, Michelle, what's up? Thank you. Uh, catering is a, is a good business here in New York City. There is a lot of work. Sometimes people say, I want to move to New York City. Can I get a job there? Yes. BB, what's up? Yeah, Jay Garcia, I'm a, I'm a cook. I'm a, a chef. I'm in catering. All those things are true. Butter Toast, thank you. Martha Hood, thank you. Simone, thank you. Ravi, thank you for the gifts. Yo, what's up? Thank you so much. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, so it's good. If you want to come to New York and you're wondering if you can get a job, you, you definitely can. It's uh, I, If you don't want... What is this thing right here? If you're trying to avoid work, if you don't want to get a job, that's the only way you can, you can avoid getting a job. You got to try to not get a job. Can we see other places now? You can, baby doll. Where would you like to see? Country native, Helen, thank you for the heartbeat. Yeah, we're trying to move up the, the chart of the popular creators. Yeah, what's up with this guy? What do you got? What kind of car is that? What kind of car is that? With the M on it. Maserati, huh? Ernie K. Come on, guys. Come on, cars. Let's go around. Let's see what we get over here. Okay, we're good. Yeah, the building, the views are, are crazy, right? And then that's the Grand Central Station building right there. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. She's telling me to be careful. <laughs> Walk to the coffee. But you want to see these places over here? These are pretty crazy. Really, really beautiful. Maybach. I think it was... A, Oh, it could have been a Maybach. No, I think it was a Maserati. Charlie Cruz. Red Eye. Big old buildings. So yeah, New York. New York is beautiful. We, I want to go to, I want to travel around different cities. We're going to leave in November though. We just did, uh, we just got back from Europe last month. We traveled around six or seven cities over there and did live streams for a couple of months. You remember that train station, Steven Tarusio? I love the Grand Central Station. Oh, somebody was saying they were, they were at, uh, they used to work on East 40th. Here's Pret right here, which is uh, all over France, I believe, or and or London, I can't remember, but it's also all over New York. Giselle, yeah, it is a busy city. And I don't really know what is in this building. It's got a, it's got an older like 1980 vibe to it. And here's Mato. All the city bikes. If you're coming to the city on vacation, you can get a city bike. For about, hey, thank you so much. Yeah, New York's the best city. But I'm also very fickle and I don't have, you know, like if I, when we go to California, I'm going to be going like, yeah, LA's the best city. Yeah, San Francisco's the best city. So I can't, I'm not really, I think that wherever I'm at is the best place to be. Peep, peep, peep. Thank you for the heart me. Appreciate it. If you guys are, uh, if you haven't hit that follow button, hit the follow button and follow the channel. You'll get notified whenever we're on the air and I go live. We do a TikTok live seven days a week, at least once. We did a couple yesterday. 
Shoot, day before we did like eight hours worth. When is this motto gone? Did they remove the building? There's something was here, right? You can see that there was a building in here. Check this out, this is crazy. So this whole building is getting taken out. I'll try and get over there real fast. Hold on a sec. All right. Get this. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for following. Look at the bricks on the inside of these buildings. Well, which one was the outside of the building? And all these old bricks are going to have to be cleaned up, scraped off the wall. Or they'll have to rebuild this wall here before they put in a new building. Oh, thank you, Leah Jenkins. I'm glad, I'm glad we found each other. Pocket maze. And you can see the backside of an older building. Or maybe that's the front of one on the, on the next street down. Maybe that's 39th Street. Anita! Wild. Where's Mato? Oh, here's Mato. You got it. If you go to Mato or Mato, you got to use, you have to order your, your coffee off the app. So if you're coming here for a visit or if you're going to move here, whatever, get the, the app for this, this place. It's a, uh, there's about 20 of them. They're all over Manhattan and everything in this place is $3. Every item, every coffee, anything that's on their menu is only $3. But the catch is that you get the app on your phone and you shop on your app, you purchase it on your app, you pay on the app. Right. I think it's a brilliant idea, but it's got the upside and the downside is that it's really cheap. That's the upside. It's really fast. Oh, my Lord. Glossy girl. Thank you for the travel with me. Dang. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you. Um... So all these items are three bucks. Any coffee is three bucks, but you'll notice that there's nobody behind the counter, right? <laughs> oh, there's one person. She's over there wiping down the table. There's only one barista in the whole place. So when you show up, she'll go back and make the coffee, set it right here. You can just walk in the front door and it will be your order. So it's super fast, but unlike Starbucks, they don't have 10 employees back there. And that's how they can afford to make it cheap. Malawi, what's up? YouTubers said that in 2022, but it was from 2022. I don't know what that is. Glossy girl, thank you so much. But the, what's the upside of that? The upside of it is, as a customer, it's only three bucks for a cup of coffee. It's not, you know, you can get a latte, whatever, fancy banana, caramel, latte, macchiato, just like in Starbucks. It's only three bucks. And it's fast. But there's only one employee. But what Starbucks does in a community is they provide jobs for eight people who work there as a barista, right? So the downside of Starbucks is they are so successful, they'll take over and they'll put all the local coffee shops out of business. But they provide jobs for eight baristas, right? That place only needs one barista. So that's the downside to that. Pretty soon, if everything gets all AI like that. Hey, what's up, Maddie? What's up, Vicky? Caro, chicken. Uh, chicken Parma. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they'll take over all the small businesses. But this place right there, it's gonna be, it's so efficient that there's not gonna be any jobs for teenagers who need, you know what I mean? If you can go to McDonald's and the food's ready when you show up. You don't need a whole bunch of McDonald's cooks. And that, I think, is beginning to... Robots are starting to make everything. If you know what I mean. And this is the... Um, what is this one? The Chrysler Building. <laughs> Jamie Hewitt. Yeah, Jamie Hume. We gotta, it would be cool to... Uh, yeah, get the Matto app, though. It's, I mean, if you're going to be in the city... I use it. I have it on my phones. Chrysler Building. You guys want to go to the Chrysler Building and see if I see if it takes 15 or 16 seconds to get kicked out? Beautiful building. I love this thing. What's up, Holland, Amsterdam? Stunning. Yeah, beautiful building. Oh, you did. Yeah, three bucks. 
Leah Jenkins, the world is going to be different by 2030. Yeah, I think in five years. Do I know any schools around here? Um, I can't really say that I do. I haven't gone to school in years and years and years and years. Dylan's Pub. That place is wild. There's a, it's a big Irish pub, but they always have a great big Raiders, Oakland Raiders logo painted on the window, which is weird because it's we're not in Oakland. This is New York City. Mm-hmm. What are you guys doing here? What is this light? I don't understand this intersection before I walk into the street. Okay. Yo, Sleepy Joe. Thank you so much. Julie Davies, thank you for the rose. Ross Crookshank. But they like us. Peter Dillon's is home to the Raiders. Oh, wait. Tell me that. I want to read that. Home to the Raiders East Coast Fan Club. Oh, cool. Very cool. I grew up in Oakland. That's why I'm always curious. Oh, Raiders are very popular everywhere. I'm not a real sports fan. I don't know much, but, you know, I'm sort of the team that you grew up next to. Like, I grew up right next to the stadium. Grandma, thank you so much. One more, only two more hearts to get to the live target. Oh, sick, right on. Grandma, thank you so much. Thank you for the paper crane. <clears throat> yeah, see, that's a new, they're putting a bunch of new gifts in my category. I don't even know what it all means. And P99, thank you. What does this mean? I don't understand. This is all new. Your families are Niners. Oh, Niners fans. Very cool. All the same. Yeah, my family grew up in the East Bay, and we were Oakland Raiders fans, like my brother, sister, and dad. Um, but then my grandparents lived in San Francisco, and they were Niners fans. Same thing with the A's and the Giants. We were into the Oakland teams, and uh, people in San Francisco were into the San Francisco teams. Beautiful, beautiful building. I love this thing. Honor, not order. All right, let's see. Lisa, Wally, thank you for following. This is awesome here too. Look, this is that. This is kind of what the Chrysler Building looks like, but this is a a kind of a worn out version of it. Like it wasn't well maintained. And we're right. This is sort of kitty corner, right across the corner from the Chrysler Building. Oh, yo, look at this. Hold on a second. There's all these details in the Chrysler Building that we never really get to take a look at because they don't want you to go inside the building, even though it's right next to Grand Central Station. That's kind of crazy, right? It's crazy, huh? Hey, Christian, thank you for the follow. Yeah, beautiful skyscraper. One of the... I think it's one of the oldest skyscrapers in New York City, and it doesn't get enough attention. It's absolutely beautiful. Uganda, what's up? And those big, I guess those are like eagles or something, giant gargoyles that stick out of the side of it. Dang, look at that thing, that's crazy. It's a great city to live in, it is. That looks sharp, yeah, it's really, really beautiful up there really beautiful so and this is like well maintained but if you let it run down this is what you would get and this is this is called the Shannon building and in its own way it's it's beautiful too it's like painted with wood it's wood painted with like paint you know it's not metal like this I think is metal right yeah yeah hold on let me get my can of water here that I left on the sidewalk I'll we'll go over here this is a little bit like what the Chrysler building looks like sorry I get sidetracked I'm like a hamster. I have a very short attention span, but we're going to go over to the Chrysler building in a second, but first I got diverted over here. Yo, this is crazy. Look at that. That's crazy. 
1920s, yeah. Oh, look at this thing. How wild is that? And it's just in the doorway, the antechamber, if you will. I know, right? It's just any old, worn out old uh, skyscraper. Dude, look at that. And it looks like a nearly abandoned building or a decrepit building. Look at that. Can you zoom in on the eagles and the gargoyles? Yes, we'll go out and do that again. Wow, Art Deco, right? I don't know, I like food and cooking and different cities, but I think I'm beginning to really get into the art in, that you find in different cities and different buildings. Like, look at that, that's crazy. Ugh. <clears throat> that's crazy. And we just walked into the lobby of some random building in New York City. We're on 41st and, uh. Sorry, no photos. Can you keep the ones you already have? Uh-huh. No All right, can I go in? No. Uh, no. No, no photos, no video. Keep All the right. ones you already have. All right, thank you. She said, get out of my building. <laughs> Uh-oh. I know, I was just about to go inside. Pretty crazy, huh? Pretty amazing. That's what's gonna, Ivy Faith, what's up? Leah Jenkins. They ask you, uh, they say, no photos, no photos. So then I, I ask them for more. That kind of puts her off. Uh, 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 no, sir, no, sir. Yo, Ivy Faith, thank you so much. Run. <laughs> Beautiful, though, huh? So here's the... Here, we'll try and get right here. I'll slip out here. And we're at the... We'll see the... So the details... Pretty good, huh? Shocked her by being nice. I shocked her by not being homeless. Let's see, if you're just tuning in, this is a Chrysler building. Some of the details on the high floors. You can see even the, it looks like even the side here curves out, like it's not square. They've got it built out like that. Beautiful. And then even higher. I'm just using my phone, so I can't, I don't have the greatest camera here, but. That's the Chrysler building. So I want to go inside the lobby of the Chrysler building as well. And uh, maybe you guys can do, maybe you can count how many seconds until I'm kicked out. Because just like that building that we were just in, but that, they're gonna they're gonna be like, what are you doing here? Get out of here, Grandma. What's up? And this is Grand Central Station. Is right over here. Charlie Cruz for the share. Karina, what's up? Uh, Lake in Poland. This part of Manhattan would be called Midtown. 42nd Street, Grand Central, Bryant Park, Times Square, Theater District, and then you go all the way down to, um, what's, oh no, that's 34th Street, I'm thinking of somewhere else. And then this way on 42nd Street, if you go down, you hit Tudor, Tudor City, and see where it says Tudor City right there? like Tudor homes, Tudor buildings. That's Tudor city. And then you're also gonna run into the UN assembly, United Nations Plaza is at the end of the street. Do not walk, do not walk in the middle of the street like me. Whatever you do, don't walk in the middle of the street like me. 20 seconds before I get kicked out this time. Yeah, let's see, let's see what's up. Right, let me, I gotta redo this, I gotta press this button here. Grandma, thank you, Country Native, Bernie K, thank you, Brew Watts, thank you, Sleepy Joe, thank you, Church Key Kid, thank you. <sighs> Deep breath, and then, uh, thank you, Helen, thank you, Jay Rollins, and P, thank you all so much for those heart me gifts. That's something, that's a new live gift I'm 
that they got me doing. I don't understand. It's nice to move up the rankings. I'm glad that they that they love us. But it's a there's a real like learning curve here. <laughs> I'm playing though, thank you so much. I'm uh, I'm new at this whole TikTok thing. We've been doing it. Alright, I'm just putting on there what they tell me to put on there. So you guys feel free to send the gifts or not send the gifts. And just as if you're enjoying yourself, that's all you gotta do. Vivian Lee, thank you so much. Uh, if you can support the channel, we also take Cash App and Venmo, and those addresses are in the bio. If you want to help us out, it goes a long way, especially since we're going to start traveling on uh, on November 1st. We're going to get out of town and travel some more. We're on Lexington Avenue, 42nd Street. T-Lex for the follow. Where's Marv off the Home Alone movie, right? Tracy Frankish for the heart me. All right, let's get over there. Come on, come on, traffic lights. Yo, happy, thank you so much, happy Maria for the paper cranes, I love the paper cranes. Oh, she's like, she can walk across the street no matter what's going on, huh? She's like, no. All right, she's okay. <laughs> so funny. Because the car is, I mean, it's not as though the car wants to hit you, so if you, I guess you can just decide, well, I'm going to go now wherever I want. I love this street too. This is Lexington Avenue, right? Beautiful old street, old buildings. All right, let's go over here. People do that there too, right? Still my phone. Uh, no, actually, this is not the one from London. This is the I used. I did use it a lot in London, but it wasn't the one that I bought in London. That one was a uh, an Android. I got kind of ripped off on it too. I thought I was getting a deal, but it turns out I was getting a, a phone that may have been, uh, how do they say, nicked? May have been a stolen phone. And this is a doorway, one of the doorways to the Chrysler building, a very unusual uh, shape. All right, let's go inside. Tapute, 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 tapute. Yeah, if you guys know, uh... <laughs> wow. If you guys just know Ulysses, he's a French uh, friend of ours. He's a French live streamer on TikTok. Saint, what's up? Hey, man. Yeah, it's a beautiful building, huh? Chrysler building. See this M with the red light? That means it's a metro station, a subway station, but the red light means it doesn't work. Green light means it's in service. Hey, Bobby, you came to New York City for your birthday because, oh, awesome because of my lives oh my gosh thank you so much that's very kind let me see what happens if we go down here if it if we just lose reception I'll immediately come back out but this is the base of the Chrysler building you can go actually into the subway through here but if you go up into the lobby there that's where they're gonna kick me out of this is, we still got reception huh So this is the Chrysler Building subway. Oh, maybe the red light is on because they've got the entrance blocked as you go into the subway. So we're gonna go in these. Ah, okay. Uh, how long can we stay in there? Well, we were in the Chrysler Building for 20 seconds. So that's pretty good. I think last time I was only there for 15 seconds before they made me leave. Money. All right, Grand Central Market. Is this Grand Central Station? It's got to be connected to the subway station, right? Got to be. Yeah, it totally is. Whoa. Sick. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, it's a Grand Central Station grocery market, grocery store. $5 a pound apples. That's kind of a bit for apples. This thing, you want this in your house, right? That would be amazing, huh? It's sort of like a modern take on a Christmas tree, right? An autumn, fall Christmas tree, right? Dang, that's awesome. What would I do if the rapture happens? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know if the, what the, I don't know the rules. <clears throat> doing lives around town when they have it absolutely yeah 
Well, I don't know. We're talking about uh, leaving November 1st to go travel. So I guess it depends on where we're at. Wherever I'm at, we'll be doing shows on Thanksgiving and Christmas and the holiday season. So if we stay in the States, I just don't know. A meat market in here. I can't imagine buying meat in this place. It's probably as expensive as heck. Duck breast, 25 bucks a pound. Leg of lamb, 14 bucks. That's actually not that expensive, really. Veal chop, 30 bucks a pound. Nishtan, Mehmet, Mila, traveling. Yeah, we're still in New York City right now. Um, and we'll be in New York City until it's hanger steaks, 20 bucks a pound, all clean like that. That's actually a decent price. Ribeye steaks, 35 bucks a pound. Yeah, it's not super cheap, but porterhouse steak, 35 bucks a pound. Hey, what's up, Philippe? Beef. So, oh, and here's the croissant. See the croissant? Five dollars. A lot. So these are the trains that go out of town. The ones that go to Connecticut, the ones that go to upstate New York, Grand Central North. And then the subways that go around town are down. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, and all the gifts. We'll be back on in a little bit. Staten Island, we could take the Staten Island Ferry. That might be cool. There's so many cool things that we could do. But thank you guys very much for coming. I appreciate it. We've got a bunch of new followers this morning. We're at 59,000 followers on the page. That is crazy. I never thought we were gonna get 59,000 people. Thanks, Grandma. All right, you guys, we're going to, <laughs> thanks. I'll see you guys, Jersey, yo, we could go to Jersey City. Jersey City is dope. It's wild. It's uh, that Journal Square. There's that part of Jersey City called Journal Square. That's pretty cool. Hey, Gabriel, we are in New York City, y'all. New York City, New York State, United States of America. And I'll catch you guys in a couple hours. Thank you so much, bye. Exclusive section push us up the rankings and really help us a lot thank you very much those little pink all those little pink things all right let's see what's up if we go this way oh this part of town has those oh yo check this out this is the where the streets are named after fruits right all the little fruit names the fruity fruit names bob stojan what's up thank you so much so for those of you who would like to park on the sidewalk, we're in Brooklyn, so that's perfect. Heather, thank you so much. Got my Altima, I park it on the sidewalk because I'm the man. Oh, look, Firehouse, look at that. Trudy Irvine, thank you so much for the team bracelet. This is dope, this is like a silent feather. Hello, hello, thank you very much. And this is kind of weird too. You have this beautiful, beautiful neighborhood, beautiful, beautiful houses, but you also have a more modern uh, expressway, freeway that's built right in. In California, where I grew up, they call it a freeway. Here it's called a highway or an expressway or something, a road, an overpass. I'm trying to find how to get to the Brooklyn Bridge because we can then walk over the bridge and go into um, like the memorial. Look at these guys, man, this is a crowd right here. The 9-11, uh, the, the not the 9-11 memorial, but what am I thinking of? I mean, yes, it is a 9-11 memorial, but it's also the World Trade Center. Yo, Bazam, Multivarious, Charles H, Ogden Talbot. Beautiful. Okay, so we get into the. Now I remember how to get to the um, bridge because that's Dumbo down there, and then this over here is like the. Yo, thank you so much, Terry Longs. And this over here is a. What do they call this? The promenade or the? Not really a boardwalk, but hey, 
18 days to go until you go. What up, Colonel? Is that a uh, Colonel Teddy Bear? And then we are, this is gonna be kind of bright, so let's see, I hope it doesn't wash out everything, but you should get some pretty decent views up here. Dun, dun, dun. Man, what a great neighborhood. This place looks like, it's like a photograph. It's like, it's not even real. Beautiful. Dun, dun, dun. Oh shoot, it's bright. Oh shoot, it's bright out here. Dang. I don't know if that's too bright. I don't know if that's too washed out for you guys. And this is looking over the bay. There's a ferry going to Governor's Island where we went yesterday. Went out to Governor's Island yesterday in the morning. And this is looking across Statue of Liberty right there. Is that a ferry boat in the foreground there too? Yeah, that is another ferry. Ole and Steens. Yo, Layla, I just saw that today. Oh, maybe it was uh, maybe it was too early in the day, but I walked by it today. It's uh, it's like a Danish style coffee shop called Ole and Steens, right? On like 40th 40th Street and Sixth uh, Avenue. I have to go in there. I'll have to stop in there someday and actually buy something. Fally, thank you so much for the dolphins. So that's a pretty decent view, huh? Ooh, what if I throw the sun in there? That's too much, huh? Fally for the dolphin. Thank you so much. Woo. Dang, that is crazy. Alex. Alex, duh. Thank you for sharing the thing with more than 10 people. That's beautiful. Yeah, if you guys can share the like, that would be amazing. Fally, when the dolphins are great. Holy Toledo. What a beautiful sunset. Oh, well, good to have a library day, though. I love going to the library. So that's the Statue of Liberty. We're up here in Brooklyn Heights. Let me show you where we're standing right now. Crazy Boricua. Thank you for the dolphin. Columbia Heights and Cranberry. Oh, this is Columbia Heights Street. This is Cranberry Street. And the neighborhood in general is called Brooklyn Heights. Where are we at? Oh, here somewhere, right? The promenade in here. Crazy Boricua, dang, all those dolphins, thank you. This is where we were, went to here yesterday, yesterday morning. We walked around this way and you get a really good view. From there, you can get a really good view of the uh, Statue of Liberty. And then from here also, you can get a pretty good view of the Statue of Liberty. Little ferry boat right there. Lots of ferry boats. That's a great big ferry that's gonna it's gonna go eventually to the Staten Island. Beautiful. Cranberry Street, right? That's dope, huh? Yeah, this block, these blocks up here are named after fruit. One is like cranberry, one is pineapple street, one is orange street or, or what have you. And then these buildings or the downtown, the skyline of downtown Manhattan. Crazy, huh, Stonic Feather? Dang. How am I holding my hand so still for such a, such a shaky weirdo? Sometimes I'm looking at the picture and I'm like, dang, you're holding that pretty good, Chris. For a guy with epilepsy. You think the statue of <laughs> moonshine? I have not heard that uh, before, but hey, go with what you know. And that little, this little uh, ferry boat there—that's the New York City ferry running along, running down the East River into the bay here. There's another little NYC ferry going the other direction. Sick. So nice. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate Thank you, Amanda. My holding skills are pretty good, huh? 
I can hold the phone pretty good. All right, Linda Liu and Robbie, Rodney Thompson, James Barber, thank you all for coming. Thank you all for being here.